Hey guys, Tyler here from Sunfrog Shirts, and in this video I just wanted to show you how to get started with Facebook ads. Now it's actually really simple, and we're going to show you step by step how you can set up your first ad on Facebook. So to get started, let's actually head over to my fan page. And in a previous video, we showed you how you can use Facebook as a free option to uh, promote your design. So today what I'd like to show you is how to take this post and turn it into an ad. Now before we do that, the first thing we'll want to do is find an audience to serve this ad to. And we can do that with the audience insight tool that we've used uh, previously. And if you remember, we actually found that in this particular niche, video games, that it's, it's really too broad for anything to convert positively in. So the first thing we wanna do is use that magazine uh, that we had found in the previous video, Game Informer, and plug that in as our uh, as our likes or interests for this audience. And because I'm using, uh, because my fan page is tailored towards women, um, we're obviously going to have a much smaller target size. But I'm hoping that because it's a woman-based design, that we'll actually find that it converts better. Uh, so we're actually going to run with women on this. And we see that the 18 to 34 age range is actually uh, where they're at. So I like to use the 25 to 34 age range. So let's actually set it to that and see what it looks like. Let's head over to page likes. And what I'm seeing here is, you know, this looks pretty relevant up top. But the problem that I'm seeing is my top page likes down below are actually not ideal. They're kind of going off into areas other than uh, video games. So uh, let's take a look at 18 to 24. See, and this is this is a lot more relevant. Um, you know, you've got a t-shirt, uh, a place that sells video game t-shirts. You've got uh, a video game. You've got an anime, which relates nicely. Uh, the problem is that we're in that age range of college students, of people that really don't have buying power. Um, so let's let's see what 18 to 34 looks like. See, and this looks this looks really good. Um, this is all uh, really relevant content, uh, other pages. Uh, so basically, what we found is because uh, Facebook lumps uh, interests or uh, demographics into such broad age groups such a wide range that it actually looks like our our audience is somewhere between the 18 to 24 and the 25 to 34. So we'll set it up for this age range so that we can kind of hit the in-betweeners and we'll probably find our sales there. Uh, so now that we have our actual audience set up that we want to target, we can just hit create ad at the top of this page. And uh, we'll actually use Ad create tool, we'll get into power editor later, but for the purpose of setting up your first ad, this is gonna be much more simple uh, and easier for us to understand and actually get our first ad set up. Now we're gonna use a, uh, we're just gonna boost a post. This is kind of the most basic form of ad buying, but it is still very effective. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. And then we we'll want it to, uh, we wanna promote a, a post from our Gamer Girl fan page. And we'll grab that. Uh, that post that we had made earlier. So let's go ahead and grab this and we'll hit continue. And then uh, it's gonna it's gonna ask you for a campaign name and gamer girl post engagement. That works out fine because that lets us know the page that we're promoting from and the type of ad that we're creating. So that's that's gonna work really well for us. And then as you can see, the audience is already set up for us since we used audience insight first. We don't have to worry about setting up our audience at this point. It's already done for us. Uh, so moving on, uh, I get a lot of questions about budget. Um, and with a page post engagement ad or a post engagement ad, what we're, the one we're setting up here, it, we really want to, $35 is actually way too high. And we actually want to look more at a $5 budget. Now this is gonna be really great for a couple of reasons. One, because you don't have to fork out a ton of money to run an ad. And also when you set your budget at this $5, Facebook is actually going to uh, stay as close to that audience that we set up as possible um, so that the right people are seeing 
uh, seeing this ad. And if we put too much money into it, then Facebook is almost going to shotgun it to everybody. Um, and then we're going to we run into the possibility that the, the, the not the right people are going to be seeing our ad. And it's actually going to lower our sales numbers. And we're going to be spending way too much money on ads. And it's really not going to end up being profitable for us in the end. So just set that budget at $5 and then, you know, from there, you know, we can, if it, if it does work at this price range, we can look into scaling it up. But let's just keep moving through this. That's all stuff we'll cover later into the actual profit, the profitability section. Um, but let's just move through this just so we can continue making our first ad on Facebook. Um, and then this is, this is your ad set name. This is where I like to put my targeting information. So this is U.S. This is uh, U.S. women who are 18 to 34, and then I'm gonna plug in my interest, which was Game Informer. And then I know, looking at this, this ad set, who I targeted with, uh, with the ad. And then the last thing we'll need to do is just make sure that everything in our ad creative is right. I just like to use this as a proof check uh, to make sure that everything's spelled properly and it looks the way that I want to, and it does, it looks fine. So. All you have to do now is just hit place order and then it'll go into review process and Facebook is just making sure that everything complies with their terms and service which we've covered and this ad will so we just have to wait for them to approve that and then once it gets approved we'll actually see it show up in our ads manager now to show you real quick how to get to ads manager I'll just go back to our fan page and if we actually type in ads manager uh, you'll see it pop up here. Let's go ahead and just pop into Ads Manager real quick. And you'll see uh, it pop up here. And this is where you'll see how much you've spent and how many uh, results you have. And this will show you how many, like, it'll basically show you how many people it's reached and how many people have engaged with it, meaning how many people have liked it or shared it or commented on it. Uh, so this will be kind of We'll take a look later in this section, but this is where we'll be good to go to see if the ad is worth keeping around. So in this video, we covered how to set up your very first Facebook ad. Um, and it can be uh, quite a daunting process, but today we showed you just how simple it is. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.